Here it is, AirPod Pros 2. My wife just picked these up for work and I wanted to unbox them and see if they sound like a hot mess on a Windows PC, just like all the other AirPod Pros before them. That wasn't great. Let's try that again. The box comes open relatively easily. In fact, so easily that you might open it and spill everything out of it. And of course, you've got your AirPod Pros here, which come wrapped in this little plastic thing. And then you've got the devices here. Now these don't look a lot different than the original AirPod, but you know, they do see a couple of different things. There is now this little hook on the side. I don't think that used to be there on the old ones. In fact, let's pull a pair out and double check. Nope, my old AirPod Pros do not have that. So there's a new lanyard holder on the side. Other than that, if we take one of these guys out, I'm curious if it looks any different than the old AirPod Pros. And the answer is kind of. So AirPod Pro 2, you can see there are now two black dots there where the old AirPod Pros just had one. That's the only real distinctive feature. Otherwise they look about the same size. I think the, the stem that comes off the bottom is a little bit thicker on the new ones. It is. Uh, but other than that, it looks very, very similar. They didn't change the design much at all. And let's see if these sound just as bad on Windows. All right, now first things first, let's get these connected and paired to my Windows 11 machine. So you should be able to take your AirPod Pros here and just open it. You're gonna see a white flashing light. That's good. If it's not flashing, you can hold down the button on the back of the case. Once that's in place, you go to Bluetooth and devices, click add device, Bluetooth, and you should see a list come up. AirPods Pro right here. Oh, I heard a little beep. That means they're connected and ready to go. Now you can take them right out after that. Just pop them in your ear and they should be connected to voice, music, audio, everything else. Now, here's the catch, <laughs> and this is a big catch. So they're already connected, we can see it down here in the list, but they're gonna sound like garbage. And the reason is, is because the way Bluetooth is set up on most Windows PCs, it doesn't have enough bandwidth to actually use these as both a microphone and a set of speakers. So what ends up happening is it cuts down the speakers to eight kilohertz mono, which is a very, very, very low quality audio signal. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your device settings. We'll have to connect them again. It looks like they disconnected for some reason. All right, once those are connected, you're going to want to go over here to system. Once you click on system, you're going to see sound. Click on sound. And as you scroll down, you're going to see two different sections. You're going to see output and then you're going to see input down at the bottom. Under input, go to the headset AirPod Pros. You can select them and you're going to notice something here. One channel, 16-bit, 8,000 hertz. This is why they sound awful when you're trying to talk to somebody if you're on a Zoom call or whatever. So what you're gonna have to do here is uh, click Don't Allow. And what this is gonna do is mean you can't use these as a microphone. You're just gonna use them as speakers. And by using them just as speakers, the quality is gonna come through great. They're gonna sound terrific. But you're gonna have to use an external mic, like I use a Blue Yeti, for example, if you have any other microphone you can use, then that's gonna sound fantastic. As long as the input and the output are separated, it's gonna sound fantastic. But for whatever reason, unless you have a third party Bluetooth adapter, which I'll link down in the description below a couple of examples that are high quality, you're not going to be able to use both. So click don't allow. And then when you go back to sound, you're gonna see that it no longer shows up as an option to use AirPod Pros as your out, as your input. It only shows up as output up here, and we can click on that, and you can see it's two channel, 48 kilohertz DVD quality. So that's what you would want. It's really high quality that one. And that's really it. That's all you have to do to get higher quality audio coming through the speakers of your AirPod Pro 2s in Windows 11. As always, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions that I can help out with. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you all so much.